Okay, so once you've got your background erased or deleted, you can the last thing that's left is to adjust your image quality to try to match your foreground and your background. So I'm gonna zoom out here. Percent. Now I can see the whole thing. And oh, I can see a lot. I forgot a little bit here. I'm gonna snap that. Okay, so this pig I like the size of. I think he's lined perspectively pretty well. I was a little bit hasty on my edges. I could have gone a little slower, but you get the idea. So I do want to make sure that his brightness is a good match for the image. If I was trying to push him way back in space due to the principles of aerial perspective, he'd want to be less bright, less saturated, at the very least, he's just way too bright for the photograph here to make a seamless effect. So I'm going to play with a few settings. Now the important thing here is that you have the layer activated, which you want to adjust the settings for, because we're going to adjust the image settings for one layer at a time. So I've got that taken care of, and now I'll go to Image and I can adjust either the brightness and contrast or the hue and saturation. I'll start with brightness and contrast. Let's make him a little less bright. So his level of lighting looks a little more in tune with the rest of the image. Let's get start. Now go to image, hue, and saturation. And probably this is going to get you more mileage here. Hue, you won't need to mess with very often. Remember, hue is changing the temperature of the colors in the image. And if I felt that this was a lot more red or hot compared to this cool, uh, I could adjust that. But probably what I do is turn the saturation down. Turn brightness down again. Definitely getting better here. And the last thing I might do would be to uh, play with his placement. If I thought I could help matters that way. And also, you might try a blur filter, just to get the sky a little more, so that's too much, but a little bit can help sometimes. Um, if you're really ambitious, you could increase the seamlessness by introducing a shadow. That's going to take a little more skill than I'm going to cover, but you can try that. Now again, I think in the end, this guy is probably a little too saturated for this image. If I really wanted to make it look like a giant pig was on the quad, I'm getting pretty close. So those are your basic techniques.